I declare the commencement of the ceremony for the conferment of degree, session two. Honorable Vice Chancellor, I present candidates for the award of the Commonwealth Executive Master of Business Administration as listed in the Convocation Program Booklet. By virtue of the authority vested in me, I admit every candidate to the Commonwealth Executive Master of Business Administration as listed in the Convocation Program Booklet. Aaron Un Chin Hong. Asha Anaprompan Vilachami. Tai Chin Si. San Kai Meng. San Yen Fong. Chia Ren San. Chiu Fat On. Xiang Yi Ting. Jin Heng Li. Chu Man Ho. Chui Wing Si. Chung Yong Chu. Chua Chin Kit. Chua Chin Wa. Chua Yen Chu. Chua Liang He. Dimper Kaur Anak Perempuan Gerchan Singh. Dinesh Anak Lelaki Karuna Garan. Emeline Tan Mei Ling.
二号钟。胡美定，冯玉泰，甘三三。Gary Anilaki Nagin Chandra. Kwan Wen Yin. Harkiran Kor Anak Perempuan Utam Singh. Heng Han Wei, Ho Bin Chang, Huang Mei Ding. Jason Chiu Yi Hien. Jason Tamil Selvam Analaki Kanisan. John Paul Wang Sing Siu. Joseph Tan Chin Heng. Ko Chin Pu. Ko Chun Sien. Krishnan Analaki Marimutu. Lai Fi Li. Lai Shu Shen. Lau Yok Si. Li Yi Len. Li Ki Lin. Li Li Mei. Li Wei Kian, Li Yi Won, Li Yin Mei, Leng Ching Lin. Lim Bun Liang. Lim Bun Siang.
Lim Chiu Yun. Lim Kok Chung. Lim Tai Kong. Louis Zhou Xian Zhuang. Maheran Binti Hamdani. Marcus Lim Yu Sheng. Menaga Anna Prompuan Radha. Mok Kam Siu. Neo Jun Fong. Nitiswari Anna Prompan Bala Chandran. Ng Chin Sien. Ng Hui Pei. Ng Kian An. Ng Li Fong. Ngoi Mei Fa. Ning Yi Cheng, alias Ming Yi Cheng. Ong Chi Chuan. Ong Sham En. Ong Tek Wan. Ui Yem Peng. Ui Leong Kiong. Pi Pai Dia Anilaki Appalasami. Pandian Anilaki Sanggarabanli. Prakash Anilaki Kupusami. Rajendran Anilaki M. Subramaniam. Xia Wan Ying. Siu Chan Hong. Sin Si Wan. So Siu Yong.
Sokwinder Singh and Alaki Tara Singh. Tan Bun Chin. Tan Chek Nam. Tan Ken Nan. Tan Kun Long. Tan Tiam Li. Tan Yu Hang. Tan Yu Kang. Tan Zi Xian. Ji Sheng Tek. Te Sui Ying. Kyo Hui Leng. Tong Yok Mei. Tai Ching Ho. Tiong Ong King. Vanessa Anita, anak perempuan Pushpan. Wei Leong Tol. William Pan Ka Yi. Wong Jin Yin. Wong Jia Ying. Wong Siu Yi. Yang Nan. Yo Keng Yan. Yong Pei Ni. Yun Chi Kin. Yu Tian Kiong. Yusnidar binti Abdul Rahman. Yus Noraiza binti Abdul Wahab, Elias Yusuf.
Professor Dr. Zoraini Wati Abbas, Deputy Vice Chancellor, Academic and Education and Technology, Wawasan Open University. Professor Dr. David Ngo Cheng Lin, Deputy Vice Chancellor, Research and Outreach. Mr. Yong Sik Kiong, Chief Operating Officer. Dr. Andy Liu Te Kui, Registrar of the University. Invited guests, graduates, and family members, ladies and gentlemen. It is my great pleasure to welcome all of you to this afternoon's convocation ceremony, an occasion in which we acknowledge and celebrate the achievements of our la latest batch of graduates of Wawasan Open University. Indeed, a graduation ceremony is the most significant and meaningful occasion in the university's calendar for graduates. And I would like to extend a very special welcome to the graduates who are here today, this afternoon. And it is because of you that we are gathered here today. And I also warmly welcome the parents, families, friends of our graduates and colleagues who have joined us on this memorable occasion. And we have earlier in the morning session witnessed the conferment of the Doctor of Letters Honoris Causa on Dr. Jomo, a Penangite and a prominent leading economist, highly respected and admired for his analysis and views on economics. And indeed, he has made a significant impact on the world stage. And with the weight of his influence, he has been able to bring many important social economic issues to the mainstream of the, to the, for the attention, discussion, and action of society, groups, citizens, and nations. His lifelong work has been to strengthen the social economic health of individual nations and citizens. Next, of course, I congratulate our graduates for having successfully completed their studies in Wawasan Open University. My heartfelt congratulations go to the family members as well. Their support must have contributed to the success of their loved ones who had just graduated today. Ladies and gentlemen, Wawasan Open University is producing a total of 688 fresh graduates this year. This number includes the 40 younger graduates from the full-time on-campus programs and they will be receiving their bachelor's degrees in management, accounting, and banking and finance this Saturday, November the 25th. The remaining 648 graduates come from our part-time open distance learning programs, comprising 446 of them from the undergraduate programs and 202 from the postgraduate programs. So together with the 688 graduates this year, the university would thus have produced a total of 3,097 graduates since the first convocation in 2010. And this afternoon, we have just witnessed the remaining 118 postgraduate students being conferred the Commonwealth Executive MBA or SEMBA degree. Ladies and gentlemen, we are all united today by a shared sense of pride and achievement. And as we rejoice, let me now provide a brief account of WOU's progress and achievements over the past 12 months. WOU currently offers a total of 57 academic programs, ranging from graduate certificate to PhD. In disciplines like accounting, management, logistics, marketing, construction management, electronics, telecommunications, multimedia design, English studies, liberal studies, psychology, and early childhood, as well as primary education. Now, of these 57 MQA approved programs, 44 of them have received full accreditation status from the Malaysian Qualifications Agency, or MQA. The remaining programs will complete the full accreditation process at the appropriate time. As mentioned earlier, no less than 3,000 graduates have emerged from these 44 fully accredited programs over the past eight years. The university has continued to grow both in terms of student population as well as 
reputation in teaching and learning. And since opening its doors to student enrollment in January 2007, WOU has been striving incessantly to reach a larger segment of the population with its offer of affordable courses. And to date, more than 20,000 students have experienced the flexible learning opportunities provided by WOU. And we have an average of about 5,000 active part-time students taking our courses, our ODL courses, that is, every semester. At the same time, some 250 younger students are studying full-time in, in WOU, pursuing their undergraduate degree program. At WOU, as the graduates would know by now, students are well supported by the university's online management, learning management system, digital library resources, tutorials, and counsel, counseling service, both in the main campus in Penang, as well in the as in the five regional study centers, one each in Penang, Ipoh, Kuala Lumpur, Johor Bahru, and Kuching. We also have two regional support centers in uh, Banda Utama and Klang to cater to learners in the Klang Valley. We are delighted to report that this year, the Ministry of Higher Education, MODI, has approved the setting up of three more WOU learning centers in, for example, SC College, Alostar, Kedah, Penang Skills Development Center, or PSDC, in Penang, and Stratford International College in Butterworth. And next year, in 2018, WOU will be establishing another regional center in Kota Kinabalu to provide Sabah Hans the opportunity to pursue tertiary education, including postgraduate studies. Let me, let me uh, add to that, ladies and gentlemen. WOU introduced the new Diploma in Early Childhood Education program in January this year to provide part-time study opportunities to untrained teachers in preschools and childcare centers to obtain a minimum diploma qualification. And this is very much in accordance with the latest ruling imposed by the Ministry of Education that by year 2020, all preschool teachers must possess at least a diploma in early childhood education before they are allowed to teach. So anyone of you or your friends who are interested to pursue this kind of study come to WOU. WOU has been offering the Postgraduate Commonwealth Executive MBA program to part-time adult learners since 2008. And we have just witnessed the, their graduation uh, of graduate this year. But the good thing is since January this year, the same SEMBA program is also offered as a fully online program, complete with online tutorials and learning support services. And next year, WOU intends to roll out two new part-time study programs, and these are the Bachelor of Arts Honours in Counselling and the Master of Arts in Psychology programs. Now, let's switch attention on the technology front since its establishment in 2006, WOU has recognized and embraced ICT, using ICT to, de to deliver its teaching and learning support services to students. And in this relation, capacity building and training workshops are conducted routinely to equip our academics and educational technology staff with the latest educational technology skills to enhance teaching and learning. For instance, skills such as audio, audio video making and editing, quality management of course development and production, proper setting of course assignment and exam questions, and the use of the newly enhanced features of our upgraded learning management systems, or Wawasan Learn, as many of the graduates know by now. Ladies and gentlemen, we know that the fourth industrial revolution, or industry 4.0, is already upon us, influencing the way we work and the way we live. Indeed, new technology drivers and emerging innovations are currently disrupting the work environment of many industries, 
including the education delivering service industry that we are in as well. The prediction is that this fourth industrial revolution will see many routine jobs disappear, just as many more new jobs are created. And it stands to reason, therefore, that with the emergence of new industries, new demands for specializations and degrees will emerge. By then, the most popular degrees will be those that train graduates for work in this new emerging industry. As such, WOU must constantly keep pace with changes in the job market and lead curriculum change. We have to design or redesign programs and courses that offer skill sets required by employers. And these include soft skills that make graduates more likely to gain employment and be successful in their chosen occupations, which will, of course, benefit themselves, the workforce, the community, and ultimately, the economy. Transferable, employable skills will always be sought after by employers. Hence, if we do not keep our core curriculum relevant to the changing demands of job markets and industries, I am afraid our university will struggle to grow its reputation and remain an att attractive place to study. What comes to mind immediately is the need to work closely with industry partners to collectively plan and develop new degree programs, more structured student internship arrangements with the indus in industry, and professional training courses that truly fulfill the human resource needs of industry. This need has never been more crucial or pressing than now. Ladies and gentlemen, the university will continue to engage with academia, industry, and society by organizing dialogues, public talks, and seminars to educate and create greater public awareness. The university had successfully organized a two-day roundtable on emerging trends of technologies in supply chain management in collaboration with the Penang Skills Development Center which was participated by industry experts and SEM practitioners. And we also organized an academia industry dialogue participated by 50 representatives from industry and academia to brainstorm on emerging technology dri technological drivers and challenges that will impact higher education sector. And in the future, we'll be organizing more of such dialogues and roundtables for sure. On the international front, the university continues to receive delegations from overseas and many of them with keen interest to collaborate with WOU in the area of open distance learning. For instance, we are currently in discussion with the Lübeck University of Applied Sciences in Germany and another NGO in Europe, namely Kiron University, to jointly develop open education courses for online delivery to students, including refugees in Southeast Asia. Another example, the University of Mauritius and Botswana University of Distance and Open Learning are already using the course materials developed by Wawasan Open University for sel selected subjects in these two universities. Now back onto the domestic front, in line with WOU's mission to expand learning opportunities, we are intensifying efforts to forge smart education partnership with more local and multinational cooperations. And so far, more than 200 private sector companies in the country have entered into educational partnerships with WOU to encourage their employees to pursue higher academic qualifications in WOU. Just early this year, WOU signed a memorandum of understanding with the Tan Chong Group to take advantage of WOU's corporate education partnership program to strengthen the knowledge and skill sets of their workforce. And we had previously done the same with Perodua by customizing a special MQA approved graduate diploma program for its employees in the sales and service department of Perudua. A number of Perudua employees have already graduated 
from this program since 2015. On the research front, given that research is an important indicator of the state stature of a university, WOU through its Institute for Research and Innovation has over the years been funding research projects of its academic staff. The aim is to grow the R&D profile of researchers in the university. And to date, IRI has approved research funding for a total of 23 small projects amounting to about half a million ringgit. And such investment in promoting research will certainly continue. Our, our academic staff has also been encouraged to apply for external research grants from sources like the Ministry of Higher Education's Fundamental Research Grant Scheme. It is perhaps in this context appropriate uh, that to commend our, academic for our academics for winning two silver medals in the best papers category at the recently concluded 31st Annual Conference of the Asian Association of Open University held in Yogyakarta, Indonesia in September this year. Also, at the conference of, on redesigning assessment for holistic learning organized by University of Malaya and the Ministry of Higher Education, which had just ended three days ago, two, pres two presentations from WOU in the form of a poster and a video poster about holistic student assessment also won two silver medals. And the WOU team presented an in-house study on how we had conducted and assessed a Malaysian food and culture fair organized by students from the two soft skill courses, namely comparative religions and cross-cultural inten uh, intelligence courses. I would like to touch on a different matter, ladies and gentlemen, and this is about the culture of service excellence. The culture of service excellence actually must permeate the very fabric of a university. And at WOU, we have recently re-looked at our customer service practices, coming out with a renewed client service charter, complete with a series of training workshops to provide a better understanding on good customer service among all WOU employees. And the aim is to reaffirm our commitment towards delivering the services that are respectful, accurate, and prompt to one another as colleagues within the university, and of course, to the existing and prospective customers, the students. What about corporate social responsibility? Of course, the university will continue to engage with other members of the larger community to offer our expertise, time, and forms of assistance as part of our corporate social responsibility. As has been going on for the last 10 years, WOU will continue to support and sponsor the Relay for Life Penang annual event. Our part-time and full-time students have been active in community work through the organizing of blood donation campaigns, for example, in support of government hospitals or waste recycling projects and fundraising for welfare organizations as part of their co-curriculum projects. What about scholarship? WOU has been offering scholarships to needy students. And here, the university is ever thankful to the donors and Wawasan Education Foundation for the financial assistance extended to our students. Some of the graduates sitting here in this hall this afternoon have benefited for, from this scheme. And the university, as a not-for-profit institution, spends close to one million ringgit every year on scholarships. And many graduates have, been, have benefited immensely from the WEF support. To date, just to give you some statistic, the foundation has dispersed about nine million ringgit to no less than 11,000 deserving part-time and full-time students in the form of study grants, chancellor's merit scholarships, and bursary awards. Ladies and gentlemen, the university has entered its 11th year of operations. And it would not be out of place to say that WOU owes its current standing to its close adherence to stringent QA policies and SOPPs. 
And equally important, the dedication and hard work put in by all staff members, students, and top management stakeholders in the WOU community. Today, I'm happy to say that WOU has a great team of de very dedicated people on board, ranging from experienced business savvy professionals, professors, and senior academics who sit in our university boards, senate, and executive management committee, to the dedicated academics in the four schools that we have, administration staff in the main campus, as well as those at the regional centers, and not forgetting, of course, our hardworking students and alumni too. Altogether, these people have shaped WOU into what it is today. Together, they form the foundation to, to our future success. And to all of you, I offer my salutations and congratulations. I am privileged to have the, had the honor of working with all of you in leading this university. Moving forward, the university is, progressively, is progressing steadily on track keeping a close watch on its finances, ever mindful of the important need to maintain financial sustainability and organizational agility at all times. New challenges will, of course, continue to emerge in these volatile and uncertain times. But I, as I have always said before, as long as all of us in WOU are securely anchored in our fundamental values, as long as we are rooted in, con in our conviction regarding our mission, WOU stands ready to take on the challenges of today and tomorrow. And I'm sure that whatever new efforts put in by the present leadership will continue to be pursued ir irrespective of who is at the helm. Ladies and gentlemen, I have left the most important part of my speech to last, and it concerns you, our graduates. To every graduate in this hall, I commend you once again on your fine accomplishments. You have met the very high standards imposed by this university. Today is indeed your day, a day to remember, to celebrate and cherish. We share your joy and I hope you will at all time act as good ambassadors of Wawasan Open University, especially at your workplace. Because the quality of a university is often also measured by the performance of graduates in their jobs. The spirit of WOU should continue to live on well after your graduation. And I hope that all of you will become active members of the WOU Alumni Association and get involved in its activities. As alumni, you can still continue to play an important role in the life of the university, for instance, by volunteering your time to provide career insights for students or assist in student recruitment or orientation. You can help the association to reach out to, to assist present students in their education in the form of finance, financial support and fundraising. And also as ambassadors of WOU, simply by speaking well of the university and providing word of mouth endorsements are appreciated since they would enhance the visibility of the university. Be proud of what you have achieved and do continue in your journey of lifelong learning. Don't lose that curiosity. Once again, do stay in touch and play an influential role in the development and vitality of this university. I offer my very best wishes wishes for your future success and happiness. I wish to conclude by once again thanking all our invited guests and family members of our graduates. Thank you for being here and sharing this momentous occasion with us. Thank you everyone and enjoying your day. I declare the ceremony for the conferment of degrees, session two, closed. <laughs>